Okay, so once you've set up your project in the Treble dashboard and you've integrated your API with one of the Treble SDK, you should start seeing requests on your dashboard. Let me show you how to find those requests. So I have a demo project over on my Treble dashboard. So if I open this project and by default in the dashboard, I see recent requests, right? So you could just see the top request that has came into your API from here. But if you click on the request tab, you get to see all the requests that this project has received over time. All right. So you get to see them here. So you could see for this project I had, I have over 104k requests over time. And um, yeah, so let's look at what's in a request. So by default, at a glance, you get to see the HTTP method that was used for the request, the status code that was returned, and the API version that was called. Okay, so you you also get to see the endpoint that the request was made to, which is pretty handy, and you get to see some stats, right? So for example, this means that the the request was authenticated, and the, your API or this endpoint return JSON, which is good, and the HTTP version that was used, and what was the speed of the response that you gave to the request. And also, if this has problems, this is going to be highlighted as well. Then over here, you get to see the load time and the response size that was sent back, the device that made the request, and the location. Then here you get to see the data that was sent with the request, which is really, really handy. Okay. So you get to see, so for this um, request, we had email and the password, of course, it's masked up by default from the treble SDKs. Okay. So you get to also see the, the time that this um, request was made in a human readable way. Also, you get to see, um, so this is the frequency of the request. So by default, um, so I just said that to um, 30 seconds now. So that means every 30 seconds, Treble is going to update my dashboard with the most recent request. You could make that, um, turn that to off so that anytime you load the dashboard, you, you see the request. So if you don't want um, a push from Treble to update the requests on your dashboard, you could just leave it at off because it's going to be off by default. Okay. But you can set that to either one second, 15 seconds, 30 seconds or one minute. So that's it. So that's what you see on the request tab in your treble dashboard. You get to see all the API calls to your endpoint.